So I usually don't wake up at 4 a.m. It's because of a reason and I'm gonna let you guys know after I have my coffee because I can't think straight. So yeah, I usually don't wake up at 4 a.m. But today is our last class of the summit. This is a training program we have been doing for the past four weeks. More info can be found on my Instagram. But today is the last class. It starts at 4.30 a.m. in the next six minutes. And why at 4.30 a.m.? Because it's 8.30 p.m. in EST in US. And most of the members that we have are from US. So they are maybe working in the morning, nine to five. They have a nine to five or their business in the morning. So they can attend the live classes at night. A bit too early for me. Usually I wake up around seven to eight a.m. But I'm a morning person. I like to wake up early in the morning, but I need this to get me going. I'm gonna see you guys after the class. That was an amazing class. As I showed you, the class started at 4.30 a.m. Now it's 6.42 a.m. right here. So the class lasted for more than two hours. It's the end of the Summit 1.0. We're gonna have 2.0 soon. So if you guys want to join Summit 2.0, the link to the waitlist will be down in the description box below. So yeah, my plan as of now is to just chill for a while. And then after 10, 15 minutes, I'm gonna take my dog for a walk because it's summer time in Dubai, summer is kicking in. So you have to take your dog early in the morning around 7, 7.30 a.m. I used to take her around 9 a.m. I got a dog around about say, I would say six months ago or eight months ago, but I can't live without her. She's, she's awesome. And you're gonna see her later in this vlog. Good morning. Good morning. We both are back, me and her. And now my usual thing is that I'm just gonna grab my iPad from here. It's it's like the place I always keep my iPad here. So then in the morning I can wake up, I can lie down here and I can look at my journal so that I can improve as a day trader every single day. Because I live in Dubai, so I trade at around 5.30 p.m. EST. So the pre-market starts for me around 4.30 p.m. Then I trade approximately until like 6 or 7 p.m. I mark my entries and exits and the next day I look at my trades, I note down the mistakes I made, the good things I did and the things I need to improve upon the next day because as a day trader, our job is to keep going every single day, keep adapting to the market every single day and be a better version of ourselves every single day and that's my goal. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it raw. We have a cook, she comes in the morning, she cooks for an hour, she cooks all the meals for us. And she let us know that we're out of eggs and bread. So I just went downstairs, we have a grocery store downstairs, got the eggs and bread, lifestyle as a day trader. I'm gonna keep it raw, no show off here, no Lamborghinis here. This is my life every single day. And that's what I'm here to show. Almost 10 a.m. now, I have coffee plans with a friend of mine. He's visiting Dubai from Australia and he's in Dubai for the next few days. So I'm gonna go grab a coffee and maybe breakfast with him around 10.30 a.m. And the plan is to come back, take a nap for a few hours. That's what I like to do if I wake up early in the morning for the summit because if I wake up at 4 a.m. and if I trade at 5.30 p.m., it's like I'm almost trading after 12 to 13 hours of being awake. So what I like to do if I wake up early in the morning during the summit days, I like to take a nap in the afternoon so that I can be refreshed. I can I can have a reset for the market open and I can look at the market with a fresh set of eyes. That's what I like to do. It's working out perfectly. So let's go grab a coffee and I'm going to take you guys along with me. So I'm here having my coffee with Mark. He's from Australia, Worldwide Advisory. He has a YouTube channel as well. Say hi. Hey guys. I just came back home and now she's asking me to play with her and that's her sign. She's gonna get the ball and she wants me to throw it so that she can play fetch with me. Mila, come on, fetch.
It's around 12 15 pm now and it's my first meal of the day because I do something called intermittent fasting. You guys might know it. So I start fasting around 8 pm or 7 pm and then I start eating the next day around 12 or 1 pm. So I do intermittent fasting for around 16 to 18 hours depending on the day and depending on my mood but I try to at least fast for 16 hours every single day. Anything more than that is a bonus. For the breakfast we have egg toast, you can call it french toast, whatever and I messed up the sauce. So yeah, this is pretty pretty straightforward, pretty healthy meal. I'm gonna have this and then maybe take a nap for a few hours as I talked about earlier in the video. I like to take a nap so this is my breakfast time. So I'm done with my breakfast, it's almost 1.30 pm now so I'm gonna go to bed try to get some sleep in maybe two hours from 2 to 4 p.m and then i'm gonna wake up at 4 p.m and prepare myself for the market open i will see you guys then by the way this is the view from my apartment so you can see the whole downtown dubai that is the burj khalifa right there that is the museum of the future and yeah pretty awesome city to live in Yep, I'm back up, took a nice nap. I slept for like one and a half hours. It's around 4.15 p.m. Now it's my time to get back to the printing machine. <laughs> printing machine that I mean my setup, my trading setup. So yeah, I'm gonna do my pre-market routine. I'm gonna meditate as well for the next 15 minutes. That's my routine approximately. Before the start of the pre my pre-market routine at 4.30 p.m., I try to get some meditation in for 15 minutes just to put me in the right headspace. And then at 5.30 p.m., it's game on. So yeah, we are done. I use this app called Headspace that I've been using for the past two years approximately. In total, I have done 3755 minutes. So yeah, small wins add up every single day, 10 to 15 minutes. I have tried a few different apps, but eventually I came back to it, just keeping it simple. It's called Headspace. I'm now just going through the watch list, trying to find the top stocks I'm gonna be focusing on for the day. Let's see if I find anything good worth trading because trading, is more about patience than actually executing trades. If I see anything really good, then I'm gonna be prepared to execute. I have done everything that I needed to do as a day trader in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, journal and every single thing. But you can't take your nine to five mindset when you're trading that you need to trade every single day. You need to make money every single day. That's not how it works. You need to know when to take a back seat. You need to know when to be patient because not taking any trades is part of your job. A lot of traders feel like they need to trade every single day so that they feel as a day trader. They, they want that justification of being a day trader, but that's not how it works. You need to know when to take a back seat. You need to know when to push it. We had an awesome pre-market webinar with the Discord members. So yeah, I think we have a solid watch list for the day. It's Friday, end of the week. I am green for the month and my goal as of now is to play a bit more defensive until I am like more green for the month. And if I'm more green for the month, then I can risk a lot more money to make good amount of money. Usually for me, start of the week, start of the months are really small so that I can build up that cushion. I can build up that confidence. I can build up that green. And once I am nicely green for the week or for the month, then I can slowly increase my position sizing. So yeah, let's see how it goes. And I'm gonna see you guys after my trading. And I'm gonna do a quick recap as well. It's almost 7 p.m. now, I'm done for the day. I was done about 30 minutes ago, so I traded for the first 50 minutes to one hour of the market open. Honestly, not the day I was expecting for my first day in the life video. I was expecting it to be a green day, but again, market doesn't give a shit about your expectations. Your job as a trader is to manage your risk to reward, is to manage your green days and red days nicely so that your green days are bigger than your red days, and that's what I'm doing. Today, I am red, $500, you guys can see right here. I'm red about $500. But that is okay because I'm still green for the week. Today's 5th of May, end of the first week of May. And I'm green, I think $2,000 for this month up until now, which is pretty decent. Not the best, not the worst, but looking at the market conditions, the price action was pretty shitty this week. So making $2,000 from day trading is pretty decent in my opinion. But the thing is that if I get more green, if I'm able to stack up more green days in the month, then I can size up eventually. And usually my big green days are towards the end of the month that is pretty much it guys it's the end of my day now i'm just gonna go for a long walk just to get the steps in usually in a week i like to go to the gym four to five times a week the other two three days i go for a long walk for about one and a half two hours just to get the steps in get just to get the cardio in then i'm gonna go home take a shower and go to bed that's the end of my day if you guys like this video smash the thumbs up button subscribe to my channel and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video